welcome back to Aquatic Elements. I am back from Thailand. I've actually been back six weeks now. So it's nice to get back in front of the camera and we are obviously back from our Thailand tour. I really, really hope you've enjoyed the past couple of months and all of the different episodes we did on our fish tour around Thailand. I had an absolutely amazing experience and it left me wanting a few fish in particular. So on my visit, you would have seen, we obviously visited a lot of the goldfish farms and you obviously know I keep the monster fish. Now, I did absolutely love the short body Aranda and I would love to set up a tank for them. I don't know, maybe in the near future or somewhere down the line. So that's on my mind. But what really stuck with me were the Asian Arowana, the Stingrays, especially the Albino Stingrays, and the Flight River Turtles. Now you would have seen this video on Instagram where I saw some absolutely amazing Fly River Turtles. And obviously there was a lot of legislation and I probably could do a whole video on the legalities of owning one, especially in the UK. Captive breeding, endangered in the wild, uh, taking, taking Fly River Turtles from the wild, etc, etc. And I could go into a video on that. I absolutely fell in love with them and I would absolutely love to keep one. Obviously in the right circumstances but one thing that really really stuck with me were the albino stingrays and you will know that i have a few stingrays in the aquarium and i do have one albino pearl called lemon who i absolutely adore and it really left me wanting more now i do have chocolate chip in this aquarium who is quite a large stingray and he's always dominating the others at feeding time he is a black diamond and i've actually taken the decision i've been thinking about it for I don't know the past well i guess past six weeks really about switching out some of my stingrays and actually going for all albino stingrays because i absolutely love them now you may be thinking wow you're switching your fish again but i just i just was so fascinated by the different albino stingrays that they had in thailand at 59 stingray farm in bangkok and also in the chuck chuck market so in today's video i have a new fish and it is sitting in a bucket right over there so let me go and grab it and i can show you what i've got a few moments later so in this bucket next to me is our brand new stingray going into this aquarium and it is a very very special one i'm super excited chocolate chip down here is actually finding a new home today so probably halfway through your video you will see he is no longer in the tank he's actually going to a really really big tank um, and the guy has a few other stingrays as well so i'm really happy he's going to an absolutely lovely home and he's getting collected very soon and this means we can have our albino stingray collection starting to grow so i'm going to move the camera towards the tank we can start to put him in the tank and get him acclimated before we release him into his new home i've got the bucket just down here i'm going to open the lids hopefully the barbs won't attack me when i put him in but we have a new male albino stingray Oh, there's a few leaves on the bag there, but I'm just going to sit him in the tank there and I'm going to bring the camera around the front and we can have a look at him while he's acclimating. Now we have our new stingray acclimating in the aquarium. You can see him a little bit better. Now he is actually a very similar size to the rest of the stingrays I've got in this aquarium, which is really, really good. He's also feeding on the same foods, mussels and different prawns as well. And he's gonna fit in absolutely perfectly with the current stingrays we've got. Now I did choose for another male because I don't currently have any intentions to breed the stingrays and I know they can get a little bit damaged and beat up during spawning times. And that's not something I quite want to get into at the moment. But this is a very special ray because this is an albino pearl cross albino black diamond ray. So he's got some very, very interesting markings, some really, really cool markings, and I cannot wait to get him into the aquarium and check him out. I'm probably gonna acclimate him for about 30 minutes. The tank he came from was at 27 degrees, so it's only half a degree different to mine. So let's let him sit in here for a little bit, and then we can get him in the tank, and then we can check him out. Now our new albino hybrid stingray has been acclimated for about 30 minutes now and the temperature in the bag is the same that it is within the tank you can see we've got the uh, gold malaysian gold arowana checking him out so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually use my round net to net him out of the bag and place him into the aquarium and then in literally 20 minutes our black diamond chocolate chip is going to be rehomed 
So we're going to make a little bit more space for him and there is a little update on the other two stingrays which will be probably coming maybe the next video or a couple of videos time. So let's get him in the tank and then we can get some videos of him and maybe talk a little bit more about him. So as you can see, I've got the bag rolled up here and I've got my round net. I really like this round net because it provides a nice base for the smaller stingrays to fit in. And there's a small, much smaller chance of them getting caught in it or getting their barb sort of caught in it as I don't really want to cause any damage to these fish. I'm just getting him out now. Just got to be really, really careful. And he looks really, really lively. But as you can see him here, he's absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to release him now into the tank. And there he goes straight into the tank. Now he's just gone down there. I'm going to let him settle in for a couple of hours and then we can check him out. And now we are back. It is actually six hours later and... The ray is looking absolutely amazing. He's actually much prettier and I'm actually really blown away with what I thought he originally looked like in the tank that I actually purchased him from. So it was quite hard to see because the lighting was really dim but his pattern and colours are absolutely amazing and I can only imagine what he's going to turn out into over the next few months. So let's have a close look at him, let's have some close up shots check him out and we can talk a little bit more about him and basically just have a close look at him. Now I've just brought the camera to the front of the tank and you can see our brand new stingray is just down here. Now he does blend in quite well with the substrate but he looks absolutely amazing and he's actually really really different to my albino pearl stingray. Now I thought they were going to look really similar but they actually look quite different. Now this one actually has a really white colored base and the pattern is more of a bronzy rose gold, I would say. Now obviously this is gonna change over the next few months, especially the next probably week whilst he settles in and gets used to the aquarium. But he's looking absolutely amazing and I'm blown away with his color and he's the perfect size as well for the other rays. Now you may notice that the other black diamond ray has now gone. Chocolate Chip has actually been off to his new home and I have since received a video of him in his new home with his new Stingray tank mates. So I'm really, really happy he went to another home. Now, I didn't really go into too much detail at the beginning of the video, but essentially, um, since my Thailand trip, I have fell in love with the Albino Stingrays and my plan is to probably move on the other P14 Cross Black Diamond and the Mini Marble Matoro and actually get just a third albino stingray. So essentially we we'll just have three stingrays in this aquarium, give them plenty of floor space to grow and plenty of areas to swim around in. Now the Black Diamond was also a little bit of a food hole. Now whenever the other smaller rays did get their food, he would get on top of them and he would try and steal that food away which meant they didn't get too much food so he was a little bit of a not a bully but he did like to try and steal the food from the other fish which wasn't great and not what we are sort of going for this rate is a much more suitable size and he's hopefully not going to be stealing the food away so there was a couple of reasons why i chose that mainly it was because i really really like the albino stingrays but he also was a little bit of a food hog as well. So I'm really hoping we can find a home for the Mini Marble and P14 Stingray and actually get another albino. And then I think that will be it for the Stingray. So now I'm not gonna feed him, he's just going down into that corner there, but I'm not gonna actually feed him today because I want him to settle in. And generally I don't like to feed my fish 24 to 48 hours after they've moved just because there was obviously different bacteria in the tank, different foods as well, and it's nice for them to settle in and get used to the tank. But that is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing our brand new Stingray getting added to the Monsterfish Mega Tank. What do you think we should call him? Now he is a male Stingray and he is a albino black diamond crossed with an albino pearl Stingray. So leave some name suggestions in the comments and Maybe in the next video or a couple of videos after that, we'll do a little update on the Monster Fish Mega Tank and we'll also give him some food and check on how he's doing. But that's it for today's video. If you do have any video suggestions, leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.